Hello, I am Bear Pugs, and today we are going into the wild. As you can see over there, there is wilderness. Now, uh, just yeah, wilderness. Now, I haven't been there in about six years. Last time I was there, I got seriously injured by a bear. Now, today I will be teaching you the survival's guide, the survivor's guide to surviving the wilderness. Now, we're gonna walk back to here, and we're gonna go over to here. Here is my backpack, which is what you will need too. Now, I will tell you all the simple things that you will need for this journey. First of all, you will need a water bottle. Second of all, you will need food. Third, you will need bandages for any injuries that come your way. Now, last but not least, you will need a weapon. And I suggest two weapons. One, a melee, and second, a ranged. Now, for my melee choice, I have chose the mighty sword. My range cha my ra my ranged weapon, I have chose the mighty crossbow. So, now, I have to get packed up. I'm going to put you right there, looking into the wilderness. Now, so, you will follow my exact every exact step I make into the wilderness because you will need to know what to do in every situation now we will now in this first survival video we will be just going to find shelter then we will start hunting for food now I suggest putting your ranged weapon into your backpack and then car carrying your melee weapon with you on your hands so, as you can as you can see, I have my re I'm ready with my sword in my hand and my backpack. So here we go into the wild. I am sorry about that camera thing. I not so good with this. So sorry about everything, just shaking and everything. But here we go into the wilderness. Go into those. There's a big log here. I don't know what happened, but something. So, if we find anything up here, better gotta be careful. There's a lot of these leaves. Oh, no, no. Poison ivy. Don't wanna be poisoned with all that itchiness. So, we are making our way into the depth of the forest. Going to see we can find anything. Do you see that? Do you see that over there? I'm gonna go see what it is. I have no idea. What is that? That looks... What is this? Um, what have we found? We have found tires. Look at this. We have found Tire. There's a tire there. There's a tire there. What is this? There's another one over there. Another one. Actually, three over there. And this. Do you see this? This is a. This is a car trunk. This looks like a fort, maybe. You know, you could lean up against this. Sit. Sit right. Sit right in there. Get protected by the rain. Be a good spot. I don't know though. I don't know. There might be people living out here in the wilderness. Don't know. I also have my trusty watch on my hand arm <laughs> thing that will keep me what time it is, what time it is. But if you don't have one of those, I suggest using the sun. It is a very good time teller. Let's see, what is this thing over here? Ouch! I got, I stepped on a log and it attacked me. That was not good. Let's look around, anything? Anything unusual? I don't think so. But this, this is again, a car. Did I say over there a car trunk? I, that's not a car trunk, it's a car front where you lift up and then there's the engine. This is another one of those. 
but yeah, I think a good a good place to rest would be by a few trees. Then you could get some sticks, um, and then line them up, and then if you have a blanket, which I should have gotten before I left home. Oh, look, you see, over here. Before you journey on your thing, your adventure, I suggest getting a blanket. Sorry, I went quiet there, thought I heard something. Like you see, these two trees here might might be a good place, but I don't know. Seems like we're going in circles, but I'm just trying to find a place to stay for today's journey. Then next next episode's journey next episode's journey will be um to find food because those snacks that i got you don't want too many of those i suggest only one or two and then unless you 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 cannot hunt at all then i suggest getting more but we're going to hunt and uh, i don't know what's in here but we're going to hunt something Look at this thing. See that tree? It like curves all the way down to a circle. Maybe if we go through it, it'll give us good luck. Uh, there we go. See this? This is a fallen tree. I don't know how it has been fallen, but it has. So. Oh, gosh. Um. I really need to find a place to stay before night comes. And if night comes, but yeah, as I said, we need to find a place to stay before night comes. Because nighttime, dangerous things come out. I know it seems like I'm going in circles, but I'm just trying to find the right place to stay. You know what? Here. Here is our future home. Now. Here, here. We can put a few sticks up, put a blanket up, and that will be our home. Now, I, su I suggest that you get a blanket or something that can cover you before before you go. Like that, that trunk over there that we saw. I mean, not trunk, the, the, I don't know, front thing. That's a good thing to use. Whatever, it's leaned up against that. It's a good place to hide under. So, yeah. This is where we're going to stay for a few days on our journey. I don't know how long our journey will be. Maybe two, three, maybe four days out in the wilderness. So we're going to, sorry about that, we're going to see how this journey will end up. And so I will leave you guys here until the sunset and I'll see you. In the next one, goodbye.